Princess Eugenie's stylish appearance at the Duke of Westminster's Society Wedding of the Year appeared to subtly reference Meghan Markle's absence with a clever fashion choice. Eugenie made a fashion statement by donning a white fascinator and a stunning green dress, reminiscent of Meghan Markle's signature style. Eugenie's outfit at the wedding of Olivia Henson and the Duke of Westminster seemed to pay homage to one of Meghan Markle's iconic ensembles, right down to the choice of footwear. Eugenie donned a pair of Aquazura pumps, similar to the ones worn by Meghan Markle on previous occasions. With her choice of attire, Eugenie appeared to send a playful nod to her cousin Harry's wife, who was notably missing from the event because she wasn't invited. The wedding of Hugh Grosvenor to Olivia Henson at Chester Cathedral has brought the ongoing drama between Prince William and Prince Harry into the spotlight once again. Royal experts didn't bat an eye at William taking the spotlight over his estranged brother, with the Prince of Wales even playing the role of Usher. According to royal biographer Ingrid Seward, it was a no-brainer that William would be the main event at the wedding. Harry made it clear that he wouldn't attend after discussing the awkward situation with Hugh and agreeing to step aside. The Duke of Westminster, godfather to both Prince William's son George and Prince Harry's son Archie, reportedly reached a civilised understanding with Harry for him to miss the wedding, clearing the way for William's participation and usher role. Seward added, There was also Meghan's reluctance to attend a high-profile society event where she'd likely face criticism. Why subject herself to that? The wedding, dubbed the Society Wedding of the Year, was attended by 400 guests, including Prince William. However, the King's absence was noted due to ongoing cancer treatment and his busy schedule with the D-Day celebrations. Royal commentator Michael Cole suggested Harry's absence indicates the ongoing feud between the brothers, saying they can't be in the same room together without embarrassment. Cole remarked, Imagine William showing Harry to his seat. It'd be quite the spectacle. Despite missing the wedding, Cole predicted that Harry and Meghan would send their well wishes from Montecito. He called Harry's decision a diplomatic solution to a family problem. Host Nana Akua expressed sadness, saying, It's unfortunate. Can't they just grow up and move on? Seward added, noting the deep rift between William and Harry showing no signs of healing. It's a reflection of their troubled relationship, that they can't be together, she said. In the past, it'd be fodder for sibling banter, but today it's headline news. It's a great sadness it's come to this. They won't be reconciling anytime soon. And just when you thought the drama was over, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams chimed in, saying Harry's no-show was bound to happen. Richard Fitzwilliams told The Express, Harry's non-appearance on Friday at the wedding of the year was inevitable. It should be noted that he and Meghan don't attend anything comparable in California, he noted. He would surely not be human if he didn't feel genuine regret as his friendship with Hugh Grosvenor, the Duke of Westminster, reportedly endures. And so many of his friends in his former life were there, continued the expert. Fitzwilliams noted that William's presence made Harry think that he couldn't attend the ceremony. With William being an usher, it's a sad sign of the rift between the brothers that he felt he couldn't be present. After the extraordinary briefings, when he was last in Britain for the Invictus service at St Paul's, as to whether his father was too busy to see him and if there was enough security at a royal palace, which he was reportedly offered. It's clear that the rift in the royal family couldn't be wider, he concluded.